Hello Taurus, this is your February monthly reading. Let's see what's going on for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe guys. I'm going to lay these cards face down. I've done it both ways, but I think I like it better face down. And then we'll look at them together. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. This is your current surroundings. What's going on with you currently here? Okay. This was crossing you. This is the issue. The recent past. This is the best possible outcome right here. What's coming in for you guys. How you see yourself, how you view the situation that you're currently in right now. Your outside influence, your hopes, your fears, and the overall outcome here okay let's see what's going on with you guys currently what's around you what's happening okay we have the eight of cups here hmm. a lot of you have left situations that you feel like are not serving you emotionally um feeling like um you know you've gotten everything that you could possibly get from this and there's just nothing left it's like you're 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 feeling depleted like um, I just can't do this anymore, whatever that is. Your challenge here is the Page of Wands. And I feel like this is you showing interest in something, okay? Taking the initiative toward something, okay? How you're viewing this situation is you're really not sure. You're not sure, I feel like, if what you did in walking away was necessarily the right thing is what I'm getting from this. I feel like currently... You're not sure how you feel, not only about the situation, but maybe about a person, maybe about um, a Pisces here, okay? Because this is Piscean energy as well as the Eight of Cups, um, and I feel like the Page of Wands is Pisces, so you're, you're being challenged to address your feelings, I feel, for a, pa a Pisces individual currently, okay? Somebody with that aspect, maybe Pisces, Aries type energy, okay? Now, what the issue is here is that um, I think you've been thinking a lot about this person, this situation that you left, okay? And you guys are not speaking, but I think you're just kind of sitting back and observing, um, observing this person, observing your feelings. Did you do the right thing? Um, do I feel more for this person than I originally thought even here, okay? But you're approaching this um you know from a learning perspective like you're really trying to figure something out here now what was going on in the past with you guys is the knight of swords maybe you you said some things that you didn't necessarily mean or somebody else said something that they didn't necessarily mean but it came off very aggressive um very very filled with anger I feel here. Um, I think there was some truth that was spoken, but I don't think everything that you felt was really conveyed in a way that you probably wanted it to be. Um, maybe this other person said some things too that you know are affecting you right now, and that's what you're being challenged with. Is if you know whatever this person said was it something that um, really warranted you walking away? Is what I'm getting here. So the best possible outcome in this situation is that you guys do decide to be there for each other through thick and thin. Um, I think what what happened here is is maybe you know you left somebody feeling left out in the cold, rejected, hurt, or they made you feel rejected and hurt. One of the two. But the overall, the best possible outcome is that both of you can be there for each other and maybe mend your hurt feelings together, okay? Because if you notice, there are two people in, in this card, 
then they're together. Nobody's running away. Nobody's alone here. You're together. Maybe you've gone through some tough situations here, but you're sticking it out. Okay? What's coming in for you is the Four of Cups. Now, I feel like you guys are really being challenged, like I said, to address an issue. Okay? Now, this person that I feel like and I feel like this, this is energetically what's coming in, okay? I feel that if this is somebody, which I don't really feel like it's somebody because I don't know why they would be coming towards you, um, ignoring you, okay? So what I'm getting here is that in walking away from this individual, if you do not address whatever issue you feel like is, is like weighing on you right now that you will feel like this is a missed opportunity with this person you will feel like they're no longer offering anything to you um, that there's no chance of reconciliation here um, I think that you will probably be in a position where you're wanting to return okay and I think this was pulling at you right now. This is what you're you're thinking about here with this moon. It's a lot that's still unclear to you that I feel like you guys need to figure out. And I think you're in the process of doing that. Now your outside influence here is the Nine of Swords. I feel like a lot of you are thinking that you cannot come back from what has happened here. Okay. But with the Nine of Swords, this is telling you and telling me that whatever it is that you're thinking, nine times out of ten, that is not the reality of the situation. It's not as bad as you guys think it is, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys, you find yourself thinking about this constantly, okay? Whether you're at work, whether you're, you're at home trying to sleep, I feel like sometimes you guys probably wake up at night or wake up in the morning with these thoughts on your mind about this person and what has happened here, okay? So what your hopes are is a nine of wands that not only will you be able to to continue and go on, I feel like this is something that you, you're, you're wanting with this person for you guys to be able to work through your issues and continue with this relationship, okay? And I feel like that's exactly what's weighing on you. It's like, you know, does this person still have the feelings that they said that they once had for me? Are those feelings still there? Okay, is it enough for us to be able to pick up and work through these issues and go on from here? Your fear is that you'll be left alone here, having to find um, somebody else that could fill the shoes of the person that I feel like you guys um, are no longer with. Okay, I think you your your fear is to. To not be with the person who you feel like you're supposed to be with. Because the hermit looks for the star. And the star is destiny. Your fate. Okay. So the overall outcome here is the will of fortune. Hmm. This is change. Okay. So with the outside influence here. Now either, either you can change your situation do the things necessary and then bring in the things that you feel like you deserve which i feel like is related to this person or you cannot you can stay right here in this mode which i don't think is a comfortable state for you okay either way this will is spinning so whatever you put into it is what you're going to get out of it so this is you guys deciding whether or not um this situation is worth you putting in the effort so you can get what you want here okay so you can get what you want here with this will of fortune guys okay so let me go ahead and pull a few clarifiers for you guys to see what this four of cups is about here why is the four of cups here why is the four of cups here for what's coming in for Taurus the four of cups why is the four of cups here all right my car is upside down. No, look at this. Now, look at look at this. This is the star here. What did I just say with this hermit? That's clarifying the four of cups there. 
I'm not going to pull any more clarifiers because this is all about the person that you guys want to be with. Um, and I feel like this person uh, more than likely wants to be with you too. Okay, because in order for the star to be here and for the hermit to be here, I feel like this person felt that you guys probably belong together. Maybe um, one of you was a non-believer initially, but I think my Taurus friends, I think you guys are coming around and I think that you're feeling like this is a missed opportunity, but I'm here to tell you that it's not. Okay, so we have any fixed sign here, Scorpio, Taurus like yourself, Leo, Aquarius, we have Virgo, Sagittarius, um, Gemini, Pisces, we have Cancer energy here, um, yeah, Aries possibly, and um, that's it for your monthly guys, and I will be speaking with you soon, bye.